Hello everyone, and welcome back to John and Mandy Go RVing. Hello everyone and welcome. Today we're doing something a little different here. Once we got our electric bikes, one of the first accessories we really wanted was a pet trailer. However, we bought a couple of them and each one needed for us to do something to the bike. Drill a hole in it, get a different adapter, something. And we didn't want to do that with the bike, so we kept taking them back. Luckily, Electric now has come out with their own pet trailer, the Wagalong. So what we're going to do is we're going to try this out, see if the cat likes it. So what we'll do here is we'll take it out of the box, throw it together, and give it a test run. So to give you a quick rundown of what comes inside this pack, you will get the instruction manual. You'll also get these uh, wheel bumper guards that you attach after the fact. You'll have this mount here that you use to mount the bike trailer to the bike. It also comes with these, uh, it's a 4mm wrench, Allen wrench, and 11mm regular wrench. And then you get four screws and reflectors as well. And a caution flag to put on your bike as well. So now that we have the carrier put together, we're going to go ahead and mount the bracket that's going to attach to the trailer. So what we want to do is take this axle bolt off. And then this will fit in there as so. And you want to make sure you put the groove the half moon crescent groove here that allows clearance to this bolt then after the fact so you can get to that whenever you need to adjust your uh, brakes or whatever now that I have this on and tight I'm gonna go ahead and connect the bike trailer here so what we want to do is take this pin out here unhook it Put it through the hole here so it lines up with the hole. Put the pin through, lock it in. Now that we have this locked in place with the pin, go ahead and take this and put it on your kickstand. Now, this doesn't quite reach all the way to this where I would like to put it. So for now, I'm just gonna put it here. Figure that out later. I think that'll work fine anyways. And that's it. Now you're all hooked up and ready to take the cat or dog for a ride. Or even if you have a monkey or a raccoon. So I'll do a quick walk through the trailer here. I just attached these bumpers to the wheels and also these reflectors on the front and on the back 
inserted the flag in this little pouch here. That'll hold the flag in place. Now, getting into the trailer more, the back opens up for access. And you see when we're inside here, you do have hookups for harnesses on either side. So you can have your pet locked in so they can't run away. Whether you're a doggy or a kitty or a raccoon or a monkey or whatever kind of pet you have, even a piglet. You also have access on the top. So your pet can poke their head out the top if they want, hang out. And the top one is covered completely, so if weather decides to turn on you, your pet won't get wet. The front does also open, and it has a plastic barrier window. Oh, sounds like someone wants to try out the pet carrier. You can hear our buddy next door barking away. And yeah, so you have a screen as well in the front. And that's it. Just when you fall in every risk you take Knowing redemption's always on its way Let all the courage in you start to wake Unafraid, unafraid, unafraid How you doing, buddy? You all buckled in there good? Unafraid, Your harness locked in? You all lounging in there? Every yeah, you ready to try out your new pet carrier, go for a little bike ride, what do you think buddy, you ready to do this, you like it so far, we're just gonna push the bike here first, see how you do, we're not even gonna go for a ride right yet, ready, here we go, I'm just pulling the bike like we're going for a walk, no, nope. you just lounge him. You just lounge in there. He is just lounge. What do you think, buddy? I like it. Good for right now. Yeah, go for it. I'll leave it open. And he's doing pretty good so far. Yep, you're good. Uh huh. He's looking all around. I think he likes it. In case anyone's wondering, yes, I am running behind the bike here to get this shot.
Okay, so we've got the electric wag along pet trailer all together and we've done our first ride. Let's talk about the build. John, how was it? It was pretty easy. It comes mostly assembled, so you only have to do a couple things to get it assembled for the most part, putting the wheels on and putting a crossbar in and uh, other than that, it's just hooking it up to the bike after that and a couple other things and you're good to go. It wasn't that bad at all, you know? And the good thing about it is it'll fold down if you want to transport it so you can fold it down and put it in your basement of your RV or in the back of your car, you know, if you don't have the room in your RV. Yeah, and the one thing we did like was you didn't have to do any modifications to the bike itself like some of the other ones that we had bought one other one and you were supposed to dr drill a hole and all of this other stuff that we didn't want to have to do. So that was the main reason we even wanted this one. Yep, right. So Mandy, what did you think about the bike with the trailer on the back? You know, it's funny because we, we, we have cats, we don't have dogs, which I think this is more geared towards probably. Um, so we weren't sure how the cat was gonna react to it actually. Uh, and he did pretty good, um, no crying, didn't try to get out of it. A um, couple things I liked, a couple things I didn't. One, as the driver, didn't even know it was back there. Yeah. Uh, very, you, It's very easy, and again, we have a 20 pound cat, so it's not like we have a 50 pound dog. Might be a little different, depending right. on what you have. Um, <laughs> went over some uneven terrain, that seemed to work okay. Didn't go real fast, because again, we have a cat in it. Um, but I thought it, it worked really well. Uh, had the, the um, so that you could make sure that the cat was secure in there um, to be put on. The thing, the one thing I would say I didn't like about it was the bottom of it. Um, there wasn't any padding for the cat. It was pretty um, thin. So I would definitely put something in there for him to, to sit on because I think that it would be a very uncomfortable ride actually for, for the cat. Yeah, you could put like a dog bed in there or something along those lines, a little padding like she's saying. and. It should be good. I mean, if, if you're only going on a short ride, you shouldn't have to do that if you really don't need to. But if you're going for those longer rides, you definitely want to do something like that. Yeah, but um, quality seemed really good. Uh, very easy to, to, to drive the bike and have that behind you. And uh, Cat did great. So yep. I'm really proud of the yeah, little guy. Yeah, he just laid in there and enjoyed it. Was looking all around out all the windows of it. Uh, we just put him in the top of it and had him locked into his harness. Uh, which is nice that they have those in there. We were wondering about that option, if they would have it or not. And they definitely have it in this carrier. So if you're worried about that, you don't have to worry about that anymore with this carrier, that is. Yeah, and the, the front of it, you could either leave it closed or you could open it up for some fresh air. We left the top completely open, but you could close that depending on yeah, yeah. the temperament of the animal you're going to put in there. Um, but Hopefully yeah, they could pop their head out maybe, you mm -hmm. know, if they're a bigger animal. Yeah, Orton didn't seem to even notice that that was open, but, you know, it was a pretty good... You want to go on the next ride? This is Leia here, and she she's not as outdoorsy as uh, a couple of the other cats, like Orton and Midge T. Although Midge T just goes out there to eat grass most of the time anyways. Huh, Leia? Yeah. But all in all, I think we're very happy um, with the Wagalong pet trailer. We'll certainly be using it, and uh, if we have any other updates, we'll let you know, but... Um... Yeah, and I think we'll be using this a lot. You know, we won't be just using it for the cats. We can also use it to put our beach supplies in when we go down to the beach, or if we want to make a run to the grocery store, or even if we're door dashing or something like that for fun, you know, making a few extra bucks when we're traveling. We can throw some pizzas in the back there and, you know, deliver to someone, you know, and make a little money while we're doing it. What did you think about the overall experience with this carrier and electric, the product overall? Very, ha I'm very happy with electric in in general. Um, you know, we still have the 1.0s um, and love them, um, and still going very strong. Have not mm -hmm. had any issues. Um, we have the saddlebags; those have been good. Um, so again, it's just another quality product from electric. And she just got a new battery for her. Electric, so she can go a little bit farther. I think it's what 65 miles up I don't to 65 know. miles on the battery. Yeah, we haven't tested that out yet. So, so she has that option now. She can go a little bit farther in her bike. I'll eventually maybe get one. We'll see. But we we really um, you know we haven't had we haven't had issues with electric at all. So happy with the quality and, and this just feels like just another quality product from them. Yes, I mean our bikes have lasted us what two years now. We've had them. 
Yeah, and trans. She's had about a thousand miles on hers, and I think I got about four or five hundred on mine. And we haven't had any issues other than maybe tightening brakes every once in a while mm -hmm. from folding up and down, you know, and throw, you know, throwing it in the back of the RV or back of the car. And we do we do fold them quite a bit because we're moving often. Yeah. Um, it's not that we we aren't using them, so um, those are hard miles on those bikes. <laughs> So we would like to thank everyone for watching this video, and we hope you found it helpful. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. That way, when you click on that notification bell, you'll get our future content notifications. So we'd like to say goodbye to everyone, and we're not really affiliated with Electric at all, so it's not like they're paying us to give you this review. But we figured we'd at least let you know what we think of this product and I think you guys would like it too if you need a wag along pet trailer for your electric bike. So we'd like to thank everyone for watching again. Take care and safe travels.